Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question is from the topic of permutations and combinations, where we have been given a word called success. We need to find what is the rank of this word success if all the letters are arranged in a dictionary order, right? So first of all, let's understand how many total words I can form with all the letters of this word success. So I have three S here, two C, one E and one U, right? So first of all, if I see how many total words I can form with all these letters of the word success is, so three, five, six, seven. So total seven letters, I can arrange them in seven factorial ways, right? It is from the same idea that n things can be arranged in a straight line in n factorial ways. So seven things, seven letters, I can arrange them in seven factorial ways. After that, S and C, if you see, they are repeating. So what we do is we divide by that many number of times the letter is repeating. So here S is repeating three times. I divide it by three factorial. C is repeating two times. I divide it by two factorial. That gives me seven. 6, 5, 4, 3 factorial upon 3 factorial into 2 factorial. This is out. So 2 factorial is 2. So 2 ones, 2 twos. So what I'm left with is 7, 6 is 42 and into 5 into 2 is 10. So 42 into 10, that is 420. I can form 420 words with the letters of this word success. Now let's see. If I arrange all these letters in a dictionary order, what is the rank of this word success? So if I first of all see, I have 2C with me, I have 3S, I have E and I have U. So if I arrange first of all these letters in a dictionary order, I will have first C, then E, then S and then U, right? So there are 3S and there are 2Cs. So first of all, if I have in the first place a C. After that, I have six vacant places. So six vacant places, I can fill them in six factorial ways. And if you see, if first C is gone, you have one C left, you have three S coming, right? So no repetition is there because of C, because only one C is left now to be placed, but there are three S to be placed. So I will have to divide it for further by three factorial. So that gives me six, five, four, and into 3 factorial, that gets cancelled with this 3 factorial in the denominator. So I have 120 words forming when I start my word with the letter C. After that, if it starts with E, as per the dictionary order, after C we have E. So now again, I have 6 vacant spaces to be filled. They can be filled in 6 factorial ways. And when you fill it in 6 factorial ways, what options do you have here is 2C, 3S and 1U, right? So 2C, that's why I will have to divide it by 2 factorial. 3S, so I will divide it by 3 factorial further. So I'm left with 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, dividing by 2 factorial is 2 into 1 and 3 factorial is 3 into 2. So this is gone with this. 2 ones, 2 twos. What I'm left with is 60 words forming with the starting letter, right? So we have done C, we have done E. The other letter that will come as per the dictionary order is S. So I have my first letter with me now. I need to form this word success. So first letter is there with me. Now I need to arrange this six letters. So now I have six letters left. I will fix this. So one S out of them is gone. So now we are left with two S here. After that, I have six places. According to the dictionary order, again, the first position will be occupied by C. When the first position is occupied by C, I will have five letters left. So five letters, I can fill them in five factorial ways. Now dividing by this five letters consists of one C, two S which are left, one E and one U, right? So only two S are repeating. So five factorial by two factorial. Five factorial is 120. 
right and dividing it by 2 factorial so 60 so 5 factorial is 120 dividing it by 2 factorial that is 60 now i can have in the second place so s is already fixed with us in the first place in the second place as per the dictionary order i will have after that e and e will again contain next five letters that can be placed in five factorial ways and this five letters if you see will have 2c 2s 1u so 2c and 2s will divide it by two factorial two times so that gives us 120 upon 4 that is 30 so i can still form 30 words with this second letter e after that if i have s and it will be S again. I will again have five places to be filled. But now if you see you have two C, you have only one S left and you have E left, you have U left. So two C will have two spaces again. So five factorial by two factorial will again have 60 words forming with this, right? So after that, I will have S and U here. And once I have S and U here, as per the dictionary order, after that, I will have both the C's coming as per the dictionary order. After that, I will have E coming as per the dictionary order and both the S which are left. So I get this word success after this is done. So how many words before this word success we are getting is, let's add them. So I have, 120, 60, again a 60, again a 30, and 160. And after that, I get this word success. So that gives me 120, 180, 240, 270, 330, and 1. So 331 is the rank of this word success. So, if you see the rank of the word is 331, which we have got, and that matches with the option A. So, the answer for the question which is asked to us, the rank of this word success, when the words are arranged in a dictionary order, is 331. And hence, the answer is, I hope you have understood how to find the rank of this word, as this concept is very important for IIT JW. You can get this type of questions in the entrance. So prepare them well. I'll meet you again tomorrow with the next question. Till then, you can like, share and subscribe if you're finding this helpful. Thank you.